Star Trails. I'm sure there's one thing we all agree on, and that is Star Trails are beautiful. Hey, how you doing? Wherever you are in the world, if you have a camera, preferably with manual settings, and you can see the sky, you can produce Star Trail photos of your own. Star Trails show us we're on a spinning ball in space, with two celestial poles. But, flat earthers question why that is. Star Trails are so uniform and smooth, and flat earthers think we're on some kind of cosmic roller coaster ride, but they have no concept of relative motion. They think the stars should be flying all over the sky. The simple fact is, all the stars we see in the night sky are relatively close to us compared to the scale of the galaxy. And they're moving with us around the core of the Milky Way galaxy. And that's why they're not flying all over the sky. But regardless of that, what would star trails actually look like on a flat Earth compared to the globe? A buddy of mine on Twitter who's rather good at geometry and astronomy has used some special software to analyse some of my star trails from the east coast of Australia to see if we can compare them to the flat and globe Earth models. Most of you know I live on the east coast of Oz. On the globe, it's down under, facing towards the southern celestial pole. On the flat Earth, I'm way out here on the outer rim, far away from Polaris, but still under it, and close to the wall or edge of the dome. Now here's the first comparison for the flat and globe star trails for my easterly view. The blue lines are what we'd expect to see on a flat earth. As we can see, it looks like a dome, with the dome walls going around the earth here, and the dome ceiling above us. The white lines are the globe star trails, and we can see them curving down over the horizon following the celestial equator while also curving around the two celestial poles. Now, who can guess which one matches reality? <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh my god, I'm shocked. My star trails from an easterly perspective from the east coast of Australia match the predicted globe star trails. Unbelievable! Now let's do north, my favourite. Here we can see the flat earth dome represented by the blue lines. The shape of the dome is a lot more noticeable here. Polaris on a flat earth would still be pretty far away from Australia, but on a flat plane it would still be visible because it's high above a flat plane. But the white lines, the globe earth predicted star trails, show something completely different. Because the earth is a globe and I'm down under, Polaris is completely blocked by the earth as is most of the stars around it. Therefore that distinct circle of the northern celestial pole star trails is totally obscured by the horizon from Australia. So what do you think the star trails from this perspective should look like? I'll give you a little clue. The Earth isn't fucking flat. And voila. Amazing. Look at that. Science and reality match. Who knew? I can't see Polaris from Australia. It's like there's some giant round rock in the way. And last but not least, south. For this one, Fred has given us separate comparisons. On a flat Earth from Australia looking south, Star trails should look something like this, showing a visible wall of stars as the dome rotates to the west from my perspective in Australia. And then the globe comparison for looking south, which is of course the southern celestial pole, and if we combine these two together, we see two very contrasting predictions. The blue lines, the wall of the flat earth dome, the white lines give us the concentric circles of the southern celestial pole. If we then compare this with the star trails I photographed from my backyard in Australia, with my camera pointed to the south, approximately up about 32.7 degrees, we get this, exactly what is expected from star trails on a globe. 
Many flat earthers will say that the southern celestial pole will slowly move to the west as it follows night around the flat earth, and this, they think, is why it's possible to see the SCP from anywhere in the southern hemisphere. But the simple fact is, the southern pole will stay right there, all night, rotating just like Polaris in the northern hemisphere does, except in the opposite direction. I've had a few flat ones on Twitter suggest they'd like to see a live stream of the southern sky, and that is exactly what I'm working up to. I just need one more piece of equipment, then I'll be good to go. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. A huge thanks to my patrons. Your support is extremely appreciated. And also, a huge thanks to my buddy Fred on Twitter. See ya.